Well, Tara, as far as we know, we think that Tingana is the father of Hosanna and this leopard that has now popped up onto the tree to show us his massive paws that he has. So little Tamba has now come out beautifully, He's sitting just next to the road on a stump and is watching around and look at the size of those feet. Are they not absolutely huge? He really does have big feet for his age. It's amazing to see the size of his tracks. Look at that. They are monstrous. I'm pretty sure he's going to be a huge individual in later in life. It's going to be great to see when he gets older. I hope that he ends up in a place that we can see him because it'll be great if he does. He's an absolutely massive, I reckon, when he gets older, if he does grow into those feet. And so obliging of him to come and sit where he is sitting now. It's the perfect place for a leopard to be sitting nicely out in the open. So a little bit of patience was rewarded. Mike, you it's difficult to see a nice spot pattern, but as they get older, so that spot pattern evens out and it starts to almost set for their adulthood, and so much easier when they get a little bit older. Also, as they get older, they'll get nicks out of their ears, scars on their faces, and prominent markings that we'll be able to use to identify them. So, I mean, a male cub of a year old is going, this is pretty much how he's going to look the rest of his life in terms of his spot pattern but you know when he was a three four five week old cub it would have been very difficult to get any sort of IDing features other than maybe the, the spots just above his whisker line that you could have used but it's much easier when they do get older they also take on a certain shape and a certain look about them and it's interesting because I know a lot of you use spot patterns when you ID leopards but when we here see leopards it's almost in instantly that you see them you can recognize certain individuals so for me Tamba, Hosana Shongile, there's just a look about them. I don't actually have to count their spots generally to know who they are. So it's one of those things. It's almost like I mean, if you've got, if you've ever had pets and you've had dogs and cats, you know which ones are yours just by looking at them. And it's a similar kind of thing with the leopards. But isn't that beautiful? I wonder if he's seen something that he's just watching. Look, he's just putting his head over now. What have you seen, boy? They are, like I said, were some impalas not too far away. So I wonder if he's not just watching those and he's using the stump perfectly to be able to hide. It's very cool. You clever boy. I can tell you though, we know that he hasn't been with Tandi for the last two days, possibly three, but he still looks fantastic. He looks as though he's still managing to find food. And so whatever he is eating, he's doing perfectly well. He's not in any way losing condition. He looks healthy, his stomach looks quite round, so he's maybe, if he's feeding off birds and things like that, he's certainly successful in doing it. The other thing he could be targeting is terrapins and monitor lizards, as we know Shongile and Hosanna did when they first were left on their own for long periods, and so maybe he started to learn how to do that, because there's no way that Tandi has been back to him in the last two days. The fact that she's been mating with Tingana, we know that they were on the western side and into Arethusa yesterday, and then today they ended up is there a little Franklin there? Yes, there are Franklins that are walking below his feet. <laughs> now, we saw him the other day growl at Franklins when they walked past him. Now, I wonder if he's going to do the same with these Franklins. Franklins, you are playing with your life. I was saying that they will readily eat birds. Now, one leopard that did go after birds quite a lot was Shivambalana. So for those of you that remember Shivambalana, and where he got his name was actually from catching a emerald spotted wood dove because that's what Shivambalana means. And he was sitting on a mound and a wood dove came flying past and he just grabbed it and jumped up and grabbed it. And so young leopards will feed on birds a lot. I think Tom is a little bit confused by the brazen nature of Franklin's because like I said the other day, he just started growling at them when he was trying to sort of sit behind the log and watch them. And now he looks as though he's thoroughly perplexed at the fact that these Franklin's are just playing around at his feet and are not really too scared of him and running away. So there we go. There's the little crested Franklin underneath. You are a brave Franklin, I can tell you right now. You're lucky that that's not Tundi because you would be dead by now. So Tandi is a lot more lethal when it comes to hunting than what Tamba is at this stage of the game. What are you going to do? Hopefully he doesn't go pouncing after them because we might then lose visual of him. Where he is now is absolutely perfect for us to be able to see him in great detail and be able to watch him nicely. And if he goes bounding after those Franklins, he might go back into that horrible thicket that we, he was in just now. So I'm hoping that the Franklins move away and we don't have to worry.
pygmy puff army you say so majestic well it doesn't get much better than that does it a leopard sprawled out on a fallen over tree is about as good as anyone could wish for now if he just turns his head and rests his head on his paw and stares at us we will have the perfect leopard sighting so that's what i'm going to hope for i'm sure he will eventually he'll lose interest in those franklins if the franklins move off and then he's going to look around and being a young leopard he often likes to look at people and varying other things and i wouldn't be surprised if we see him turn his head towards us so it's going to be hopefully a nice long sighting with our little tumba like i said my day is absolutely made i've had the most wonderful bush day i think doesn't get much better than what I've had today. Oh, there he goes. You see, he's now looking at those Franklins. I think the Franklins are right below him now. I wonder if he's going to jump on them and pounce on them. He looks like he's getting ready. Look, he's positioning himself. Are you going to go? if he's going to pounce on them looks like he's getting ready you can see his little bum is wiggling I can't see his tail now the tail of a leopard is normally their most expressive part and just before they bounce you see the tail twitching which there it is you can see the tail just coming up between the grass there <laughs> I love a leopard's tail the way it twitches is the best thing in the world Don't go back down though. The Franklins needed to walk the other way. I think it would have been much better had they. Are you going to go after them? Our beard, you say volunteer cat toys. Well, yes, I don't know if it's volunteer or Darwin Awards today, but it is most certainly not the brightest Franklins out here because they're moving straight towards our little leopard and he's going to pounce on one of them if they're not careful. You can see he's moving away slightly now. But his little belly, I was looking through the binoculars, is quite full. So whatever he's been doing, he's found food somewhere. Now he's just disappearing behind the mound, unfortunately. I'm going to try, Senzo, do you want me to go back a bit? Yeah. I think I'm going to try and just go back because he's walking back a little bit. I'm just seeing now. just don't want to move too much because I don't want the Franklins to get a fight and run away and for him to lose an opportunity if he is hunting them. I don't think he's very sure what he wants to do. What are you doing, Tumba? <laughs> you can just see the tail flickering through the grass there. So Senzo's battling a bit with all the grass that's around. There we go, there's the little tail. Take care, you want to know what the strongest muscle is in a leopard. Now, that's an interesting question. I would imagine, for me, it must be either in the forearms or around the shoulder blades. Those muscles there should be the most powerful. I don't think there would be many others, but in relation to their, their power of their jaws would be quite interesting. But most definitely, if you look at a structure of a leopard, it's most of its weight is going to be over its front shoulders, and that's where the biggest bulging muscles are. So I would imagine those muscles that attach to the shoulder blades and the forearms are all going to be their most powerful that they've got. He's still not sure about these Franklins. The Franklins are still pottering about there. They haven't made any noise yet, which means they haven't actually seen this leopard. But he's just sitting, kind of staring into the Franklins and watching what they're doing. I think he's a bit con completely taken aback by their brazen attitude towards him. It's interesting because I've seen with Tiani, when she was young at his age, there's not a chance that Franklin would have got anywhere near her. She would have been like a shot onto those Franklins. So it's interesting to see how there's a difference. I don't think he would be as accommodating of Franklin's walking right towards him. I think Tumba's still learning this whole process and he's been fortunate in that he's had a mom that's fed him so well. And I think it's now he's going to start learning some very hard lessons as to what he actually can feed off. It's not going to be beautiful big impalas and kudus and waterbuck that mom has been feeding him over the last year. He's going to have to start looking at lots small animals in order to sustain himself.
Ali, you're asking if you, you're wondering if Tamba will be bigger than Hosanna. <sighs> Ali, difficult to say. I mean, it's it's obviously there's genetics involved and there's all kinds of things and maybe this period of Hosanna not being with mom from such an early age might mean that he's slightly smaller or well, development-wise through these years than what Tamba is. You must remember Tamba is six months younger than what Hosanna is and they're pretty much the same size already. So it'll be interesting to see. And you also find that some leopards go through different growth spurts. Some are going to get bigger, some are get smaller. And it's going to be an interesting process as to see this sort of development and to see how they go and whether or not he does end up being larger than Hosanna. It will be an interesting competition between the two of them because they're both quite big boys already for their age. And just judging by Tumba's feet, I think he might end up being a little bit larger than what Hosanna would be. Uh, I think I'm going to just go back a little bit because from where we are there, that's not too bad. Thanks, Enzo. That's okay. You've got a nice gap now. I thought for a second that you wouldn't be able to see his head. Sorry, my fault. But Senzo's having to deal with lots of vegetation in front of this little leopard. Look, he's watching. He's not sure as to what to make of these Franklins. <laughs> Sammy, you're wondering what the pattern is for on a leopard is for. Now, I'm going to ask Senzo to zoom out a little bit, and you'll see exactly what the pattern is for. So if we come out more, Senzo, more, more, more. Right, now, can you see the leopard easily in that? No. So the pattern is there to break up the outline of this leopard. It makes it very difficult to see, particularly in dappled light that you see in shady areas like this. So the black spots help just to break up the outline that coloration that they've got blends in with the color of the grass as well as the shadowy areas and they become masters of camouflage so that's why they spotted is all to do with camouflage and nothing else but if you were driving past quickly to see that would be quite difficult but look at that isn't he beautiful yes we're talking about you you are probably the one of the most good looking leopards in the sabi sands i would say and it's just been such a treat to spend so much time with him over the last few months. You know, we've been spoilt with the sightings we've had of Tamba and Tandi and, you know, the, f the fact that when he was born, we have saw very little of him. The first sort of seven months or eight months of him being alive, we didn't get my many sightings at all. And now it seems as though he's one of our go-to leopards. And we've been so blessed to have been able to watch him as he's growing and as he's starting to get into adolescence and moving into his teenage years, so to speak. And to watch him as he develops has really been a treat. So I count ourselves very lucky to not only have him but Hosanna and Shangila and to watch these youngsters make their way in life is a very, very special thing. There's very few people in this world that will be able to do that and it's the best part about our job is that we're able to do this with all of you and to have the biggest safari vehicle in the world with all of you watching and to go through these trials and tribulations of these young cats the way that we do is such a special thing. So. I'm sh certainly very appreciative of the time we spend with them, and I'm sure a lot of you are too. And count ourselves very lucky that we can do this kind of thing, and that we're in a s reserve in probably one of the best leopard viewing destinations in the world.